morning students in the previous session we have started non infectious diseases we have seen the definition we have seen the examples of non infectious diseases yes what is the definition for non infectious disease the disease which do not occur by contact body contact and by infections yes are known as non infectious diseases for examples cancer diabetes heart attack these are the examples of non infectious diseases now in lesson number 2 health and diseases we'll move to the next part that is misuse of medicines sometimes some people take the medicines without prescription of doctor yes we also have a habit sometimes if you are not feeling well we if we have cold cough headache then uh, if we are not feeling well then we are taking medicines from the medical cs yes, without doctor's prescription that is harmful for our health overdose of medicines may affect our body sometimes overdose of medicines may affect our body example overdose of painkillers may damage nervous system yes overdose of painkillers may damage our nervous system excretory system liver overdose of antibiotics may lead to nausea stomach ache dysentery rash white patches on tongue etc so uh, there are examples are given overdose of painkillers may damage to our excretory system nervous system and liver and uh, overdose of antibiotics antibiotics are the tablets or the medicines which are effective against bacteria and microorganisms so they may may lead to nausea yes we are feeling like vomiting we are feeling sickness stomach ache dysentery rash white patches on tongue etc so overdose of uh, medicines are harmful for our body and without doctor's prescription we will not take any medicines from the medical yes okay now we'll move to the next generic medicines generic medicines are also known as general medicines these are manufactured and distributed without any patent patent means without government authority or license so generic medicines is also known as general medicines these are manufactured and distributed without any government's authority or license these medicines are at par in quality with branded medicines yes these medicines are at same quality like branded medicines the production cost of this these medicines is very low due to fewer expenses on research as their formula is readily available yes as their production is in a low cost so their research or their expenses are fewer and research as their formula is readily available so they are readily available everywhere so these are about generic medicines now we'll move to the next part lifestyle and diseases yes lifestyles and diseases how they are correlated with each other that we will see now yes diseases are sometimes it is based on our lifestyle also yes if our lifestyle is not good if we are not uh, keeping uh, our body proper or if we are eating junk foods if you are not sleeping on time then these also causes many kind of diseases lifestyle includes the daily routine and the type of food nowadays habits like staying in bed till late morning and going to bed late in night frequent changes in meal timings lack of physical exercise consumption of junk food etc have been increased due to this such people are getting sick frequently so these are this is our because of this lifestyle we are getting different kind of diseases yes so we need to change our lifestyle okay now we'll move to the next in frequency of becoming sick if frequency of becoming sick is to be lowered people should follow right lifestyle so uh, if frequency of becoming sick is to be lowered then we should follow right lifestyles for example it must include sufficient sleep yes we should sleep on time then right food yes we should eat healthy food not junk food yoga asanas pranayam and physical exercise so these are the things we should follow so that we can keep our body healthy 
yes and will stay away from diseases physical exercise should also be as per own one's own capacity and physical exercise also what we are doing that is also our own capacity yes it doesn't mean that others are doing means same thing you will also do it, it should be according to capacity of your body now we'll move to the next yes pranayam and yogasana should be performed under the expert supervision so pranayam and yogasanas whatever we are doing it should be under the expert supervision see the videos of pranayam and yogasanas we will see the videos and we will follow that okay now we will move to the next part vaccination vaccination is important to prevent the infectious diseases why we are taking vaccines vaccines produce immunity against the diseases yes that's why we are taking different vaccinations for example rubella vaccination then we are taking tb vaccination that is tuberculosis vaccination then chicken pox vaccinations so these are the different examples of vaccination yes vaccination is uh, vaccinations we are taking to produce immunity against diseases now these are health awareness days 7th april world health day 14th june world blood donation day 29th september world heart day and 14th november is world diabetes day so 7th april is celebrated as world health day 14th june world blood donation day 29th september world heart day and 14th november world diabetes day so now we'll move to the next part understand the importance as you can see a blood donation one unit blood donated by a person can fulfill the need of three persons at a time for example rbcs that is red blood corpuscles wbc white blood corpuscles and platelets one can save the life of 12 persons by donating the blood four times a year so this is about blood donation the importance of blood donation one unit blood donated by a person can fulfill the need of three persons at a time yes one unit of blood donated by a person fulfill the need of three persons at a time one can save the life of 12 persons by donating the blood four times in a year okay so this is the importance of blood donation now we'll move to the next part which is last part from our lesson number 2 always remember each disease has specific scientific reason diseases do not occur due to divine curse or hating by anyone so disease is the reason behind the diseases is not about god and all it is be because of scientific reasons yes diseases can be cured by proper medical treatment and not by chanting mantras or performing magic tricks and diseases can be cured only by medical treatment it it will not be cured by chanting mantras or by performing any magic tricks so this is about the diseases we have seen in the lesson we have seen different kinds of diseases we have seen infectious diseases we have seen non infectious diseases examples their symptoms reasons and preventive measures i hope you are clear with this we'll just quickly revise what we learnt in the lesson so in the starting we have seen the definition of health yes what is the definition health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-beingness and not merely the absence of any disease this is the definition for health after that we have seen the definition of diseases that is condition of disturbances in physiological or psychological processes of body it's called as disease physiological which is related to body parts and psychological which is related to state of mind that is mental and emotional state of a person so condition of disturbance in physiological or psychological process of body is called as disease 
and each disease has its own specific symptoms that also we have seen then after that we have seen types of diseases as you can see here there are two types of diseases according to duration and according to reasons according to duration we have seen there are two types that is chronic disease and acute disease yes so according to duration chronic disease yes what is the meaning of chronic disease chronic disease means the disease which lasts for a long period of time for example we have seen kidney diseases heart diseases these are the examples of chronic diseases after that we have seen acute diseases acute disease means the disease which lasts for a short period of time for example cough cold these are the examples of acute disease after that we have seen the next that is according to reasons according to reasons it is specify or it is classified into hereditary disease and acquired diseases so according to reasons there are two types we have seen hereditary and acquired diseases hereditary disease means the disease which pass from one generation to other generation through defective genes they are called as hereditary disease in hereditary disease we have seen one example that is down syndrome yes that is genetic disorder down syndrome is a genetic disorder then in acquired diseases we have seen the two types that is infectious diseases and non infectious diseases in infectious diseases the diseases which passed from one person to other person they are called as infectious diseases or the diseases which were which are passed by contaminated food air water and vectors vectors means insects and animals so they are called as infectious diseases we have seen the different examples of infectious diseases for example dengue common cold flu yes so typhoid these are the examples of infectious diseases one more example that is corona that is also example of infectious diseases then after that we have seen non infectious disease the disease which occur by not uh, the disease which do not occur by body touch body contact or by infections they are called as non infectious diseases yes it is not passing from one person to other person by touching yes or by using the clothes of that person or by using the belongings of that particular person so they are called as non infectious diseases now in that we have seen different examples like diabetes heart diseases cancer these are the different diseases which comes under non infectious disease yes after that we have diseases spread through animals in that we have studied rabies then infection uh, infections or diseases spread by uh, insects that is dengue malaria so these are the examples we have seen the reasons of the diseases we have seen the symptoms after that we have seen the preventive measures and the treatment of these diseases yes after that in the lesson we have studied about the misuse of medicines yes then how lifestyles and diseases are correlated with each other after that we have seen the importance of vaccination the importance of blood donation then we have seen health awareness days okay 7th april is celebrated as world health day 14th june is celebrated as world blood donation day then 29th september is celebrated as world heart day and 14th november is celebrated as world diabetes day so these we have studied then after that the last part what, what we have studied is always remember each disease has specific scientific reason diseases do not occur due to divine curse or hating any one person or by any one diseases can be cured by proper medical treatment and not by chanting mantras or performing magic tricks so here we have completed two lessons in science that is lesson number 1 living world and classification of microorganisms and second lesson health and diseases i hope you are clear with all the concept so that's all for today we'll stop till here thank you so much